Hello, I'm Leslie Terry with Environmental Health Services. In San Luis Obispo County, many of our residents utilize a private water well at their home or business. The purpose of this video is to provide important information and guidance to well owners and users. It is important that residents regularly test and maintain their water well systems. To assist with this, we have developed a well owner's checklist. A copy of this checklist can be found on our website at slowpublichealth.org eh. It is important to regularly test your water. Contaminants can be naturally occurring and can also come from animals, chemicals, and household plumbing. Environmental Health Services recommends an initial test for primary drinking water standards and bacteria. Assuming there are no contaminants which would warrant follow-up testing, the following years it is recommended that you test annually for nitrates and bacteria. Simply contact a local laboratory and they will provide you with the correct sample containers for your testing. Different types of tests use different types of containers. You may receive plastic or glass bottles. Speak with your laboratory if you have any questions. The ideal collection location for well water is a non-threaded downturned spigot located at your well. However, most private well owners do not have such a location. It is acceptable to sample at faucets outside or inside, but it is very important to sample water before any treatment. It is important to clean and sanitize your sample collection location, especially when collecting a bacteriological sample. There are a couple of easy ways you can do this. Mixing a few capfuls of household bleach with water in a clean spray bottle provides an easy way to sanitize your spigot, but using a clean jar with a similar solution can work as well. It is recommended that after spraying your spigot with sanitizer, you let it sit for approximately five minutes. If you are sampling at a faucet inside, it is very important to remove the aerator before sanitizing. Before you collect your sample, flush the spigot well for approximately three minutes. Once the flushing is complete, it is time to collect the sample. Always keep sample containers sealed until you are ready to use them. It is important to not touch any interior surfaces and to minimize the time the container is open. Hands should be clean and ideally clean gloves should be used. Fill the container following the laboratory's instructions. Take care to not overfill the bottle. If there is a fill line, do not over or underfill the bottle. If you make a mistake, use a new bottle and resample. Label your samples and complete the laboratory's paperwork completely. Samples should be kept on ice and taken to the laboratory as soon as possible. If your well is near a landfill or where certain types of industrial businesses are or have been, you should also test for volatile organic compounds, metals, total dissolved solids, and petroleum hydrocarbons. If your test results come back over the maximum levels considered to be safe, you should contact a water treatment system contractor for assistance with installing an appropriate device. Our website has guidance documents for reviewing your data and a list of treatment system contractors. It is important to periodically check your well to make sure it is in good repair. Keep the area around your well clean. Check the cap on top of the casing to ensure it is in good condition and the seal to the casing is still intact. Make sure all the connections and fittings are tight. If you have a water storage tank, it is important that all openings are covered and any vents are screened. Your private water well system provides you a valuable service. If you need assistance with water well repairs or maintenance, always use licensed professionals. Keep your records in a safe place. These records include your construction report as well as annual maintenance and water quality testing records. When your well has come to the end of its serviceable life, have a licensed water well contractor decommission it after constructing your new system. Thank you for your time. 
Please visit slowpublichealth.org eh for additional information and to obtain your copy of our well owners checklist.